Welcome to InfoSpark Hub. Subscribe and press the bell icon for updates. Dateline Manila, July 21, 2025. As the sun rises over the vibrant city of Manila, a new dawn of opportunity emerges for the Philippines. The headlines are electrifying. The Philippines has uncovered vast reserves of rare earth elements. This discovery is not just a national headline, it is a global sensation, capturing the attention of industries and governments worldwide. This discovery could redefine the nation's future and shift global power. The potential to alter the balance of economic and technological power is immense, as these elements are crucial for the modern world. Geologists confirm billions, possibly trillions of dollars in critical minerals beneath Philippine soil. This treasure trove of resources promises to transform the economic landscape of the nation. These elements like neodymium and yttrium are essential for smartphones, electric cars, and advanced defense systems. They are the building blocks of the future, powering everything from everyday gadgets to cutting-edge technology. For decades, the world relied on a single source for these materials. China has dominated the market, but now the Philippines has the chance to change that narrative. Now, the Philippines is poised to become a major player. The government is eager to capitalize on this opportunity, promising transparency and sustainable practices. The implications are immense, a potential economic boom, new industries and millions of jobs. This could lead to unprecedented growth and prosperity for the nation, lifting many out of poverty. Years of geological surveys and advanced technology led to this breakthrough. The dedication and expertise of scientists have paved the way for this monumental discovery. Scientists mapped mineral wealth using remote sensing and deep earth sonar, focusing on volcanic fault lines. This innovative approach has unlocked secrets hidden deep within the earth. The scale of the deposits places the Philippines among the world's top potential suppliers. This newfound status could elevate the country to a position of significant influence on the global stage. The world is watching. Can the country harness this opportunity responsibly? The eyes of the international community are fixed on the Philippines, eager to see how it will navigate this pivotal moment. For Filipinos, the news brings hope for prosperity but also stirs old fears. The promise of wealth is tempered by memories of past challenges and the need for careful management. Mining's history here is fraught with environmental disasters and social conflict. The scars of previous ventures serve as a cautionary tale reminding the nation of the importance of sustainable practices. The nation stands at a crossroads, facing a decision that will shape its destiny. The path chosen now will determine the future for generations to come. This is a story of immense potential and significant peril. The stakes are high and the outcome is uncertain, but the opportunity for positive change is within reach. The challenge, transform mineral wealth into lasting progress. The goal is to ensure that this newfound wealth benefits all Filipinos, creating a legacy of prosperity and innovation. Will the Philippines rise to the occasion or repeat the mistakes of the past? The nation must learn from history to forge a new path forward. The stakes have never been higher. The decisions made today will echo through time, shaping the future of the Philippines and its people. The world's eyes are on Manila. As the city lights up, so does the hope for a brighter future. The next chapter begins now. With the dawn of a new era, the Philippines stands ready to embrace its destiny. What exactly are rare earth elements? You might have heard the term before, but what does it really mean? Rare earths are a group of elements that play a surprisingly big role in our everyday lives, even though most people have never seen them up close. Despite the name, they're not truly rare, just rarely found in mineable concentrations. These elements are scattered throughout the Earth's crust, but extracting them in usable amounts is a complex and costly process. Seventeen metallic elements make up this group, each vital to modern technology. They include names like neodymium, terbium, europium, lanthanum, and cerium, elements you might not recognize but that power the devices and machines we rely on every day. For example, neodymium powers the strong magnets found in electric vehicles and wind turbines, making clean energy and green transportation possible. Terbium and europium are responsible for the vibrant reds and greens on your television and smartphone screens, bringing images to life with brilliant color. Lanthanum is used in high-quality camera lenses, helping capture sharp images, and it's also essential in oil refining. Cerium, meanwhile, is a key ingredient in catalytic converters, which help reduce car emissions and keep our air cleaner. 
These elements are everywhere, hidden inside medical devices that save lives, woven into fiber optic cables that connect the world and found in countless other technologies that shape modern society. They're also critical for national security, used in advanced military hardware like missiles, drones, and stealth aircraft, giving countries a technological edge. For years China has dominated the rare earth market, controlling most of the world's supply and processing capacity. This dominance gives China significant global leverage and influence over supply chains. The world is uneasy about this dependency, as it creates vulnerabilities for industries and governments worldwide. Any disruption in supply can have far-reaching consequences. The recent discovery of rare earth deposits in the Philippines offers a chance to diversify global supply chains, reducing reliance on a single source, and opening new opportunities for economic growth. Major economies are eager for alternatives, seeking new partnerships and investments to secure their access to these critical materials. This shift could reshape the geopolitical landscape, changing alliances and trade routes as countries compete for access to rare earths. The stakes are global and the race is on. As demand for technology and clean energy grows, the importance of rare earths will only increase, making them a key factor in the world's future. The Philippines sits on the Pacific Ring of Fire, a region notorious for its seismic activity and volcanic landscapes. This unique position has shaped not only the country's dramatic scenery, but also its geological fortune. Beneath its lush forests and rugged mountains the land is rich with a diverse array of minerals, many of which remain untapped and hidden from plain sight. For decades geologists have suspected that the Philippines harbors vast reserves beyond the well-known gold and copper, reserves that could transform the nation's economic landscape. By combining advanced satellite imaging with on-the-ground field surveys, exploration teams have zeroed in on promising regions, particularly in Luzon and Mindanao, where the geology hints at something extraordinary. Offshore, the seabed near Luzon has revealed mineral-rich mud containing exceptionally high concentrations of rare earth elements, materials crucial for modern technology. On land, regions like Palawan and Surigao del Norte have emerged as hotspots, unveiling major deposits that could rival some of the world's largest. These discoveries are not just isolated pockets, but vast continuous ore bodies, sizable enough to support industrial-scale mining and potentially reshape the country's resource sector. Early estimates suggest the Philippines could soon rank among the world's top suppliers of rare earth elements, a position that would bring both opportunity and responsibility. The deposits contain both light and heavy rare earths, each with unique properties and immense value for industries ranging from electronics to renewable energy. This is a nation-defining asset, a treasure trove hidden in plain sight, waiting to be responsibly harnessed for the benefit of all Filipinos. As news of these discoveries spreads, the world's attention is now firmly fixed on the Philippines with investors and governments eager to take part in this unfolding story. The question now looms large, how will the Philippines choose to use this newfound wealth? The decisions made today will shape the nation's future for generations to come. The economic impact could be transformative. Thousands of high-paying jobs will be created, especially in rural areas. Billions in investment will flow into infrastructure, construction, and manufacturing. The real prize, moving up the value chain, processing and manufacturing rare earth products domestically. This means more profits and a sustainable high-tech industrial base. Taxes and royalties could fund schools, hospitals, and infrastructure. If managed wisely, this wealth could lift millions out of poverty, the opportunity reshape the nation's economy for generations. The challenge ensure the benefits reach all Filipinos. The stakes, nothing less than an economic revolution. The Philippines' discovery changes global trade. It offers advanced economies a new reliable source of rare earths. This diversification is vital for economic security. The Philippines can now negotiate powerful trade deals and attract investment. The nation could demand technology transfers and build its own high-tech sector. Imagine a tech hub in the Philippines powered by its own resources, but with new power comes responsibility and geopolitical competition. Major powers will vie for influence and access. The government must protect national interests while maximizing benefits. The world is watching as the Philippines steps onto the global stage. With opportunity comes risk. Rare earth mining can devastate the environment. Deforestation, soil erosion, and toxic waste are real threats. Many deposits are near sensitive ecosystems. Refining uses hazardous chemicals, creating dangerous waste. Past disasters like the Markhopper spill haunt public memory. 
large-scale mining can displace communities and disrupt livelihoods, the promise of jobs must not overshadow social costs, environmental groups and local advocates demand strict oversight. The challenge balance economic gain with environmental and social responsibility. The nation must learn from history, or risk repeating it. The government promises strict environmental and safety standards. A new mining act proposes independent impact assessments and sustainable technologies, Mining companies must post bonds for cleanup and rehabilitation. Transparency is key contracts and compliance reports will be public. Multi-stakeholder teams will monitor operations. Yet skepticism remains. Past promises were often broken. Communities demand legally binding guarantees and fair revenue sharing. Trust will require more than words. It demands real, consistent action. The nation is divided. Proponents see rare earths as a ticket to prosperity and development. They argue modern mining can be safe and regulated. Opponents, environmentalists, indigenous leaders, see irreplaceable natural heritage at risk. They warn that once ecosystems are destroyed, they're gone forever. Conservationists advocate for sustainable industries over mining. Skepticism runs deep due to past corruption and weak enforcement. The debate economic growth versus environmental protection. The choice will define the country's future, the stakes prosperity or preservation. The world is watching as the Philippines enters a new geopolitical contest. The US, EU and Japan see a chance to break China's rare earth dominance. China will not give up its leverage easily. The Philippines must navigate competing offers and pressures. This competition brings both opportunity and risk. The country can leverage global interest for the best deals and technology, but it must avoid becoming a pawn in superpower rivalries. Strong institutions and wise choices are essential. The decisions made now will shape the nation's future and its place in the world. The game has begun, and the world is watching.